How do you add subtitles to a video in Premiere Pro? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that without having to do it the brute force way of selecting the type tool, clicking in the viewer, and inserting subtitles word for word. That is a waste of time, and in fact, there is a hidden better way where Premiere will automatically do it for you. Here in the timeline is a scene from a video ad we created for our CinemaGrade plugin. It's a comical scene with a dialogue, so it's perfect for adding subtitles. We'll go to the window menu and enable the text panel. From here, you can choose Transcribe Sequence so Premiere will create the subtitles automatically for you using AI. Create new caption track so you can create the subtitles manually or import captions from file in case somebody already created a caption file for you. If that is the case, that person will hand this off to you as an SRT file. Of course, we're gonna choose the transcribe sequence as it's better to work smarter than it is to work harder. In the transcript menu, you can tell Premiere to do an audio analysis from a specific track where you've got your dialogue or from the whole mix. In this case, I have a single audio track with the mix already done, so I'll leave it at mix. Then select the language, in this case, English. But you do have a pretty big selection of languages including Chinese, Spanish, German, French, and so on. We'll leave transcribe in point to out point only disabled as we want to transcribe the entire sequence. Merge out with existing transcription is grayed out because there isn't a previous transcription done in our sequence. And recognize when different speakers are talking will also leave disabled. Then hit transcribe. Premiere will take a few minutes to create a transcription then hit Create Captions. From this menu, we can choose a specific caption format in case our client asks for one of these, but we'll leave it as Subtitle Default. The Stream menu is grayed out because that's for other caption formats. And in the Style section, there are no presets saved, so we'll leave that at None. We can set maximum length in character, minimum duration in seconds, gap between captions, and number of lines either single or double. We can modify these settings and even save them as a preset for later use. Then hit create. And voila. Now my videos look so good, I'm getting calls from every director wanting to work with me. Yeah, and while Seth is out shooting sports cars. Subtitles with perfect timing. The transcription is perfect and the timing as well, but what do we do about the style? That font looks ugly. But not to worry, we'll select all the subtitles, go to window, and enable the essential graphics panel. From here, we can change all the text properties for a single subtitle or for all of them at the same time. We can change things like the position, color, the size, letter separation, you name it. Once we're happy with the style, just close the panel, and if we do find a transcription error, just go to the text panel, captions, go through the captions, and change the text as needed. When we're done, we can export the subtitles as a separate file with the export as SRT file option, which is the most common subtitle format. Or when exporting the video, go to export, captions, and choose burn captions into video, or create a sidecar file, which will be saved as an SRT file. Of course, this is great if you need to subtitle for the native language as the audio, but what if the audio is in English and you need to add subtitles in Spanish or French? Well, in that case, although you'll still need someone to translate the video, you can export an SRT file and change its extension from .srt to .txt. That way, the translator can modify the file as a simple text file, but keep the same in and out time code points for each subtitle. Then, when you get that text file back, just change the extension back to SRT and import the SRT file into your sequence. Modify the text style to your liking, and that's it. Now, I know this isn't the most exciting subject in post-production, but at some point, we're all gonna need subtitles, especially since 92% of all people on mobile watch new videos with the sound turned off. Now, what is exciting is color grading. So if you found this video helpful and you wanna transform your films from bland to cinematic, we wanna help you with that with a plugin that's specifically designed for content creators who don't wanna specialize in color, but still wanna get the same professional looking results with no previous experience necessary. 
CinemaGrade lets you bypass the built-in grading tools based on 20-year-old ideas and lets you color grade directly in the viewer with point-and-click grading. And that is not all because you get Lightroom-style controls, false color mode for getting the right exposure, easy shot matching, real-time previews of LUTs, and support for the x right color checker chart for doing automatic corrections. You'll find a link for CinemaGrade in the description below and you can get 20% off for a limited time with discount code YouTube20 at checkout. So check out CinemaGrade for a big budget look and for more videos like this, click the subscribe button and then the bell to get notified of our next one. I'll see you in the next video. Let's make CinemaGrade video.